Hi, I'm Justin Pritchard with another JustinPritchard.ca used ride buyer's guide where this time I want to take a look at the mother of all sensible luxury crossovers, the Acura MDX. All right, so here's what it looks like. This is the one we're talking about. Model years 2007 through 2014. Six-cylinder power standard, all-wheel drive standard, three rows of seating, and all of your luxury crossover must-haves. Now, there are a whole bunch of reasons that you buy an Acura MDX, and few of them have much, if anything, to do with what it looks like or how it drives. See, the MDX is largely considered to be like the smart, sensible, no-nonsense luxury crossover in the marketplace, and Acura has sold a ton of copies for it. In fact, MDX is Acura's best-selling model and one of the best-selling luxury crossover models in the segment period. Key draw to the MDX is its reputation for a no-nonsense ownership experience, top safety scores, top durability, top quality, top reliability, and of course those resale values which are celebrated around the industry by authorities, meaning that this thing is going to cost you top dollar when you buy a used copy, but also be worth top dollar when you go to trade it in on something else down the line. Alright, so if you happen to be looking for a used MDX from this generation, I will now kick it over to your test drive to-do list, which is full of handy advice and tips that you can bring along with you in the shopping process to help you shop smarter for a top-notch used copy of this machine. All right, so your test drive to do list, and remember, you can follow the link in the description below to my website, where you can download and print your own test drive to do list. It looks a little something like this, and it's full of handy tips and information that you can bring with you while you're shopping, and covers everything we're going to talk about today. Starting with item number one, and that is to check the electronics. That's your nav system, your climate control, your stereo, your steering wheel mounted controls, your remote key fobs, the power tailgate if it's equipped. And interestingly on the MDX, you wanna pay a little bit of extra attention to the electronics around the seats. Now that's your heating and cooling functions, your memory seat function, and your power seat adjustments. Number two, check the headlights. These Xenon headlights the MDX uses sure look fancy, but they can be pricey to replace if they're burnt out, and that's something that you'd want to know about before you agree to purchase. Number three, check for rust. Common rust areas on this vehicle are the frontal edge of the hood, the lower inner portion of all four doors, and the tailgate and the upper inner lip around each of the four wheel wells, so check each of those areas for signs of sneaky rust. Number four, check for leaks. You're gonna to wanna to have the MDX you're considering put on a mechanic's hoist. Have it checked for signs of leaking engine oil, transmission fluid, leaky CV axle boots, as well as fluid leaks from the rear differential or rear power unit. Number five, you're going to want to listen to that all-wheel drive system. Find a quiet parking lot and turn in a tight circle at a low speed and you're listening and feeling for a chattering or a binding or a rubbing sensation coming from the rear of the vehicle. If you detect that, you're going to need to investigate further. Likely culprit is a problem with the clutches in the rear differential or a problem with the fluid in the rear differential. Number six, be aware that the MDX's engine uses a timing belt, which is a part that you have to change periodically before it fails. And if you don't, and it does fail, well, congratulations, you've just turned your engine into a boat anchor. What you're gonna wanna do is look at the maintenance schedule outlined in the back of the service manual, determine where that timing belt sits in its service life, and if it's coming up on due for a change or if it's overdue, budget a couple of hundred extra bucks to have the work done. And I promise you, you do not want to push the service interval of a timing belt engine. Have that belt changed at or before the specified mileage. It's much cheaper than replacing the engine. All right, number seven, start the engine, pop the hood, and listen closely. What you're looking for is a loud rhythmic ticking sound that kind of stands out from the rest of the noises that that engine is making at idle. If you detect it, and it's a fairly rare problem, but a fairly serious one, it could be a serious issue to do with the engine's valve train. Have a mechanic investigate further. Number eight, be on the lookout for unusual vibrations, particularly at highway speeds. If you notice any coming through the steering wheel or the body of the MDX, the likely culprits are improperly fastened wheel nuts or uneven tire wear, which could indicate a problem with the vehicle's alignment. All right, so finally, number nine, a very rare but very serious problem reported by numerous owners relating to the torque converter. 
So on a test drive, if you notice any hard shifting or slippage from the transmission in any situation, you're going to want to have that vehicle checked out thoroughly by an Acura mechanic or move to another unit. Replacing a torque converter out of warranty is going to be very expensive. Well, thanks for watching. I do hope that you found that to be informative and useful. And if you know anyone that might be out there shopping for a used Acura MDX from this generation, share this video and the test drive to-do list with them. It could save them money buying a unit that needs thousands of dollars worth of attention from a mechanic. And as always, visit my website, www.justinpritchard.ca for more useful advice, tips, and information, all designed to help make you a smarter shopper. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.